Hi everyone, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Wednesday, June the 15th. It is game day, game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Vancouver Canucks and the Boston Bruins. The most highly anticipated game in the 40 year history of the Vancouver Canucks. It's been a wild and entertaining Stanley Cup Final with a little bit of everything. Good goaltending, bad goaltending, last minute goals, fights, hits, injuries, and even a suspension. But for the Vancouver Canucks, after seven preseason games, 82 regular season games, and 24 playoff games, it all comes down to this. One game, the winner takes the Stanley Cup, and the losers lament what could have been. So as the Canucks and Bruins lace up the skates for Game 7, a lot of things simply don't matter anymore. It doesn't matter that the Sedins and Kessler have been relatively ineffective this entire series. It doesn't matter that Luongo has been stellar at home, yet played poorly on the road. It doesn't matter that Tim Thomas looks like he's going to be the Conn Smythe winner. It doesn't matter that Boychuk didn't get suspended or that Rome did. It doesn't matter that the Canucks have developed a reputation for diving and it doesn't matter that Brad Marchand has become public enemy number one. It doesn't matter that the home team has won every game in this series. It doesn't matter that the team that scores first has won all six games. And it doesn't matter, as impressive as it is, that EA Sports has correctly predicted 13 of the 14 series in this NHL playoffs. And it doesn't matter what playoff rallying cry or slogan has inspired you, whether it's this is what we live for, bring the cup home, or believe. It doesn't matter if you think that the refereeing has been a joke or that it's been biased towards one team or the other. It doesn't matter if you have certain superstitions on where you watch the game, how you watch the game, what you're eating when you watch the game, or what you're wearing when you watch the game. It doesn't matter that Roberto Luongo wanted Tim Thomas to pump up his tires, or clean his windshield, or change his oil. Nor does it matter that Daniel Sedin took six straight punches to the face from Brad Marchand without retaliating. All that matters is what happens on the ice tonight at Rogers Arena. It's the Vancouver Canucks, it's the Boston Bruins, it's Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. It simply does not get any better than this. God bless and go Canucks go.